screen. Yeah, there's a Mario. So that means we have two Mario, we have both Mario yeah. Brothers on screen and a Fox. Yeah, Super no, Boom this Man is really funny. Only Fox. one Pikachu, no Kirby's. Uh, I like this uh, team combination. I like both of these. Team that, that, that was a crazy snipe with the shine off stage. Yeah, so Shiman is a very good teams player. He is known for his Luigi teams in the NorCal area. Oh, interesting. Oh, uh, yeah, that was actually um, pretty good recovery to quickly, immediately double jump and avoid any potential edge guard by trying to sweet spot. And so far, we have seen uh, the blue team be able to hold on to decent stage position, and they've been able to keep the red team from getting like any killer combo to really open them up. Yeah, let's go is doing a well. He was doing a good job at least uh, guarding the stage, but um, yeah. boom with a really smart uh, edge guard there. Yeah, super boom fan, oh. also known as an excellent team player. Yes. Wow, but G Man, two quick dogs. Yeah, the the neutral air from Let's Go there had the potential to, to be ruinous, but this, yeah. this is a team that's that's been on a good roll today. Amazing reverse pair from Jaime. That was a really clutch stock. I didn't think he was gonna get enough off that. Yeah man, four stocks gone, and yeah. it's basically an even game. So this tends to be about the point in a doubles game when one team will pull ahead, or you or you'll know that you're in for a nail biter. Yeah. That was a very... Oh, wow. Let's go went super low for that. Yeah, and she's gonna be dead. Oh, no! Never mind. He, didn't, he had a double jump. Yeah, it's, uh, it's Great Luigi. protection. Great protection from uh, Let's Go there. And, and also, while Shiman was still recovering there, Super Boom Fan was was uh, was able to cover space really well so that he was available for, uh, to Edgard on either side of the stage. Okay, so if Shiman is able to hold on to his stock here, then that's going to be super important for the blue team. Nice DI staying in the game. Man, that drifts so slow from Luigi. Oh, yeah. oh that pivot almost got it, but just got it by that last hit of down air. That'll be it. Let's so, him losing a stock. Yeah, blue team has to clinch a couple stocks out of the red team right now. Yeah, they're really going to want to close out start. on Mario. Yeah, but they've, they've already got 30, almost 40% on Let's Go. This edge guard's gonna be everything. Forward air from Let's Go, I think he was trying to pass back to Luigi. Yeah. But, but forward air in teams is a sort of difficult proposition for Pikachu. Yeah, especially when you're going against teams that are like players with really good TI. Oh man. Okay, yeah, now, now that is a oh team situation God, that, you, that you don't see very often. I understand perfectly why she man wanted to go for the gusto and confirm the kill on uh, on Super Boom Fan, but Mario's recovery is basically just as good. If he comes down on Luigi, there's not much that Luigi can do to protect no, himself. Absolutely. No, and that was... I mean, they, they only had a little deficit, but they could have had a lead. Yeah, that, that one stock is going to make the difference, I would predict. Yes, absolutely. At the very end of the game, because uh, Blue Team has had trouble clinching those, uh, those stocks. Like, Jaime is sitting here on 100%. Was sitting there on 100%. <laughs> that's, that's still a, a pretty long time to live. Oh, as that's Mario. Yeah. yeah. This is a very tough 2v1. Yeah, if if Let's Go is able to bring it back against Team Mayhorn, he's a legend. Pass? Oh! Yeah, that won't be enough to kill. No, if he didn't get the reverse hit box, he oh. oh, but he had no jump. He thought he did, I guess. He went for the sweet spot, missed it, and just fell. That's what it looked like. Yeah, Team Mayhorn with uh, a yeah, so really good momentum. That, that was a close fight. Yeah, it was. So now we're going to see, first of all, if we get any stage counter picks. Mm -hmm. And second of all, if Boom thinks that the Fox is still working out. I mean, I think the Fox is doing a lot of good work. It might depend where you go. Oh! I hear Captain Falcon Yeah, no, and, and that Falcon is definitely coming from Boom. Falcon oh, and teams. we're running it back to Dreamland. Yeah, how do you feel about Falcon and teams? As a Falcon player, um, I actually like it when you're not going against double Pikachu or like getting edge guarded super easily. I think the combo game that he has doesn't work as well in doubles, but you're able to pass off between the two pretty well. Um, it's just recovery is the big one. So, and, and if you have your teammate to come and interrupt or even save like uh, Jaime did with that weak pair, that's really good. Yeah, so I definitely agree with you that in teams, Falcon absolutely needs good teamwork in order to be able to work. But like, look at that power on those forward smashes. They grab F smash, allows you to close out two stocks quick and free. Yeah, not entirely free, I would say, but in, no, in but a lot you have of a, circumstances. When you have Jaime as your teammate, it's pretty free. You get, Jaime's so good. That's definitely a point. Jaime is de is sort of the heart and soul of Team Mayhorn. Absolutely. Um, I, mean, I, I think, I think Boom a lot of himself. Players. Yeah, I think that Boom himself has said that Jaime is basically the carry. Yeah. No, I completely agree with that. 
Yeah, and that's just because he has such great doubles play and, and he's, he's able to keep track of what his partner is doing so well. It's exactly what you need if you want to make Captain Falcon work in teams. Oh, that was a great jump double jump to get that up air and help keep Pikachu off stage, allow them to team up on this Luigi and close out quick stocks. Yeah, so I think um, Falcon does really well against like characters with yeah. really slow Okay, so, so that, that was not Jaime's finest moment in teams. No. But I can always appreciate the sentiment of, be, of trying to be there for your teammate. Yeah, I mean, again, it, you don't just do it you know, accidentally. You have to have a lot of game sense in going in and making an error like I did. You have to have the really good intent for the team at heart to just get upbeat and get stage spiked. And yeah, that was a great actually save by Jaime by getting hugged. Oh, yeah. Unfortunately. Oh, and he keeps doing it. He's dead now, though. Oh, that. Yeah, he needed to get hugged there. He yeah, needed, he needed, he needed to, get to get it. That um, down B, unfortunately. Yeah, so that, that's a very complicated team's maneuver that they missed only by a little. Yeah. I was honestly surprised that that hit of down B even like hit the Falcon. I, th like, I think the boom was too. I think Jaime was too. Yeah, I don't, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so there you're seeing like we've seen a great showcase from Jaime of, of team saves, which Falcon absolutely needs because, as you pointed out, he's even more of a glass cannon than, than usual in teams. I would have liked a forward smash rather than a, a throw, but if they worked it out, oh, that dude is dead. He sure ought to be. Oh, great edge guard though. Yeah, he, he wasn't guaranteed, so yeah. took uh, some good stuff from Boom. Great fireballs. Let's see this edge guard. Yeah, we haven't been seeing many fireballs from Jaime, and I'd say that those are good fireballs. Oh, he's going for oh, it! Let's go! He doesn't get it. He does not, and he dies for it. Yeah, but they've, they've got the stocks to to play with. At this point, I don't think Boom and Jaime are worried at all about this team. No, this is feeling feel pretty good. They're having fun. At this percent, this comeback is. Yeah, at, at this point, they're just going nuts. They'd have to kind of blow it. Yeah. And there you go. They finally decide to put an end to it. <laughs> And they're you, having you, some fun. You, you can see everybody smiling. Yeah. Team and Let's Go are like, okay, yeah, yeah, we get it. <laughs> you got me. Now, w one thing I'd like to point out is that Blue Team has been doing a very good job of keeping track of, uh, of edge guards. Because one thing in teams is that, is, uh, especially if you have someone uh, floating like Luigi or Mario on your team, when they're off stage, it takes them a long time to get back. Yes, definitely. Which, which means that you can just throw them off the stage and ignore them for a while until they get close enough that you actually have to edge guard them. But in the meantime, you can just 2v1, you can back up your partner, you can go and save your partner from getting edge guarded. There's, there's a lot of stuff you can do that, in my opinion, is, is typically worth it because you don't need to worry about the edge guard for like 30 seconds or something. I really like this switch. She, uh, she Man is saying, you know what, I agree with you, Multiball. I feel like my Luigi got off stage, my teammate got beat up, so I'm going to also go Falcon. And we're going to Battlefield. Yeah, she Man, a Falcon player in singles, so he definitely knows how the character works. His Falcon is sick. Yeah, he doesn't play Falcon as much in teams, though. And Falcon in teams is a different game. It is a different piece, but... Um, yeah, we'll see right there, he's just getting absolutely bodied by the team combo. Oh my god. Yeah, and Boom showing off his own Falcon skill, so it's like... She Man's Falcon oh might... Oh my god! She Man's Falcon might be sick, but Boom's on another smash. level. Holy... And we see that 40, they trade, oh no, Pikachu's still alive. Yeah, I think it was um, maybe the difference in uh, plant height on, uh, sorry, uh, ceiling height on Battlefield. But I really don't know the specifics of Battlefield too well. Oh, great pass, and down air, oh, okay. Yeah, I guess the positioning wasn't quite right. Yeah, it wasn't quite there. Maybe didn't quite have a, the right read on the Pikachu percentage. Oh. Yeah, boom, just screening Jaime's recovery. And now Jaime is able to back him up. Yeah, that's really important for someone teaming with a Mario to do. Oh, that stage fight! Yeah, That'll he's dead. dead. Yeah. Let's see how they take out Jaime. Oh, that might actually. Yeah. All be it. Yeah. Already, blue team is down two stocks and counting. Or, or no, they're down only a stock. And counting. Yeah, no, blue teams had some very good combos. Yeah, um, they're they're out of the gate. They were looking pretty. They were looking brutalized. They're sort of pulling it back, but it might be a little too little, a little too late. Yeah. Especially oh <laughs> Yeah. And when you're ahead, trade until you win. Yeah, it's really true. Yeah, so at at this point, G Man and Let's Go are struggling. Yeah. Oh, what the a fireball. great safety fireball! Oh that was God. an amazing save. He saw the future a hundred years in advance. Yeah, he's like, I know what you're gonna do before you do. <laughs> I mean that was they did in those situations. Yeah, he didn't tell. have many options and he knew exactly what to do for his teammate there. Good defense gets me so hyped. Oh no! She yeah, he's had... gone. That didn't want to burn that double jump. He overextended too much there. Yeah, so now Jaime has to pick one for five. 
Granted, these Back. first two are already pretty well worn, but it's not looking good. Yeah, this is just one big pass through. Or yeah, small. that'll probably do it. And that's 3-0 for teammate Hor. It is. Let, let's go in, Shiman, putting up a good fight, yeah, but not good enough.